a vibrant and cosmopolitan community, relatively close to the city center and within sight of the docks. But in 1966, more than 60,000 people were forcibly removed. Their homes flattened by bulldozers. But the memories of this place live on. Well Square, it used to be Well Square, no? Yeah. My sister was born in Well Square before the place was there. But there before the place. Uh, it was Melville. Well Square, it was at Well Square. The Roy Baji type kind of But yeah, in Well Square, my grandmother kept, uh, my grandfather, yeah. we kept a mission. Uh, yeah. Do you remember the mission? The mission no, 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 they kept mission here yeah, yeah. in the, in the, in the Wales Wales Wales. Wales. Yeah. Government officials gave four reasons for the removals. They stated that interracial interaction bred conflict, necessitating the separation of the races. They deemed District 6 a slum fit only for clearance and not rehabilitation. They also portrayed the area as crime-ridden and dangerous. They claimed that the district was a vice den full of immoral activities like gambling, drinking and prostitution. But most residents believe the government sought the land because of its proximity to the city center, Table Mountain, and the harbor. We were so bitter towards this government because we blamed them for everything. But as the years went on, we learned to forgive because you cannot live with hatred in your heart. So I'm not that bitter anymore. But as I'm standing here, I'm very emotional. Only I know how I feel. With no houses, no income and no future, the lives of the District 6 residents were destroyed. There was happiness in this place. The coons coming from the market up Sakira Street, down Hanover Street. We used to sit down at, in, in Hanover Street and then when the, when the coons go past, I'm hungry, I run up the lane into the house, eat pickle fish come down again, sit down again, you know, and you see, look up the, up the street, I don't know when you see, you see, there's a fight going on there with two women, uh, you know, whatever, and so forth, hey, hanging there and so forth. But I mean, it was, it was happiness that time. They, they moved us from here into Bonte Avro. Nothing, nothing. I mean, there's, there's no sporting places. There's nothing. In 2003, as part of government's land restitution program, the redevelopment of District 6 got underway. People were given a choice either to return to District 6 or to be compensated monetarily. In 2011, President Jacob Zuma set the deadline for more than 2,600 claimants to return to the area by 2014. But so far, just 139 units have been built. 24 in the first phase and 115 units in the second. The Western Cape Department of Rural Development and Land Reform says they are building according to the available budget in the financial year. The department says there are 180 flats that are yet to be built and they have envisaged that phase three of the redevelopment program would be completed by the end of next February. I don't think people realize the people of the six, born in the six, how much it means to them to actually be back. To me, I'm talking about experience. I don't want to be anywhere else in the world. I want to be here, and it was a heavy fight for me to be here. Khadija Flores was amongst the people who were forcibly removed from District 6. But uh, I mean, it's very sad when they uh, put us out there no? with all their children. And that's why I only stayed uh, in Frekitan for two months, came back to District 6. And uh, I'm very happy now. It was an emotional and surreal moment when she finally got the chance to return. Dumiso Mashaba, SABC News.